All right, Shalom, giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai, the 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 Rolandus, uh, uh, giving all praises to Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham, and Kakwadash, and the Holy Spirit. That's important. All right, all right, and give a double honor to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. And peace and salutations to every brother preaching the truth about the four corners with truth and sincerity in their hearts. All right, all right. Uh, this is the brother Shamaria giving um doing another lesson. All right, coming out of Great Millstone, Indiana. Okay, Indiana camp. First scripture I want to get. Um, second Ezra six and nine. Second Ezra six and nine says, "Flock the second Ezra, second Ezra six and eight. Second Ezra six and eight says, and he said unto me, for Abraham, unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. All right, you can read about that in the book of Genesis when they were born. The first came out all, uh, the first came out that all over like a hairy garment. All right, and Jacob was what he was holding his heel. That was symbolic to this kingdom, this rulership." And in our rulership, Jacob represented who? Esau. I mean, <laughs> Salakia. Jacob represented who? The Israelites, all right? Because out of the loins of Jacob came the 12 tribes of Israel, you know, which became uh, as the stars of heaven, okay? Thus said the scriptures. So, Jacob holding Esau's heel, Jacob's, uh, Esau's kingdom and rulership will be first, you know? And then after after Esau's rulership, the next in line will be Jacob because you know it's symbolic. All right, you can read about that in, Gen in Genesis. All right, but uh, it goes on to say, verse verse nine, for Esau is the end of the world. All right, it explains it. Esau is the end of the world. All right, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. All right, because this is the last rulership that this is the last rulership that's going to be um, ruled. All right, before. The kingdom is translated. I'm um, gonna get that kingdom is translated from one people to another. I gotta just type in translated in an apocrypha. That's a lot of TRs. I need to be more precise. Translated because the kingdom is going to be translated, man. Because when you read the book of uh, Daniel, it says the saints shall take the kingdom. All right, by force, man. That says translation. Translated. All right. This is Sirach ten and eight, because of unrighteous dealings and injuries and riches gotten by deceit. Man, who's responsible for that, man? Is there unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches gotten by deceit? All right, when you when you go into history and you go into uh, the different treaties that e that Esau, the so-called white man, has made, all right, he's broken. All right, when you go into those different treaties, man, that was an unrighteous dealing. He made a deal and didn't keep it. And injuries, he hurt people, man, and riches. So he he took the riches, all right, by by fooling or, or treachery, okay. And because of he's because of his doings about these things. Um, what's going to happen? It says the kingdom is translated from one people to another. All right. In the book of uh, Proverbs, it speaks about when the wicked uh, bears rule the people more. You know, why is that? Because of unrighteous dealings. He's, he's unrighteous. You know, this kingdom, it, it, it shows it. Look at what he's doing. What is what is the so-called white man doing in this society? He's He's creating problems. All right, and, and coming in with solutions like he's like he like he didn't fix like he didn't create the problem in the beginning. For instance, um, because of his doings, because of this mass production, this mass um, demanding of high quality, high quantity food. All right, he has to cut down trees to make his slaughterhouses. All right, to to um, to mass produce beef. For these uh for these fast food fast food places and these joints uh, uh McDonald's Burger King all right not only that but Denny's 
um, you know, all of these restaurants. So he has to quickly prepare beef, all right? So he sends them, he makes these slaughterhouses, cuts down trees in Rio de Janeiro and all these foreign lands and makes slaughterhouses, all right? And because he's because he's doing that, take away the trees, that's the man, that's what, that's what man's life relies at, man. Because we breathe in the oxygen that the trees create. It says that in Deuteronomy, it says that the tree, the, that the, um, the tree, the trees are man's life. All right. Uh, 20 and 19. I go through it. And because of this devil is doing this, because he's doing this, a, 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 a side effect of him doing this, the earth, he's creating a hole in the ozone layer. All right. Then he lies about why the hole is there. All right. He lies about why the hole is there. Fucking phone. And you know, so he's he, he's creating the problem and comes in with a solution to fix it. Oh, we, if there's a hole in the ozone layer because there's too many diesel or cars driving now in this day and age. So we have to drive more like fuel efficient cars. We have to buy these uh, energy saving cars. No, you gotta stop cutting down trees to supply these restaurants. But he can't stop doing that. Because why? There's an unrighteous dealing, man. That's 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 a, that's an example of an unrighteous dealing. He's he's not dealing righteously because the, the scriptures tells you that the trees is man life. You know, Deuteronomy twenty and nineteen. Then thou shalt besiege a city. When thou thou when thou shalt besiege a city. And a long time in making war against the taken, thou shalt not destroy the trees thereof by forcing the axe against them, for thou mayest eat of them, and thou shalt not cut them down. For the tree of the field is man's life, to employ them in the siege. All right? The tree is man's life. It says, Thou shalt not cut them down. You know, these are the, this is the law that every man should live by, man, given to the Israelites. You know, but just given, because in the kingdom, in our kingdom, everyone's going to commit to these laws, man. Every knee shall bow to these laws, statutes, and commandments. And not one person shall break them. And if they do, you know, they're going to be punished. You know? And that's, that's part of the unrighteous dealings and injuries gotten by deceit, man. Because he lies about the things that he does, you know. He lies about it. And a result in that, because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches, because he profits off of that. He profits off of these lies that he tell. All right. The, oh, sorry, yeah, the kingdom is what? The kingdom is translated from one people to another. All right. And it's simple. And it's just simple, man. What is that? Oh. Uh, Twenty four. So like I'm looking for a scripture real quick. Um so like you. Proverbs 29 and 2. It says, When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bears rule, the people mourn. And can't you see that? The wicked is bearing rule, and the people are mourning, man. All right? Who is the wicked? Esau, Edom. You know, he's bearing rule. Everyone's mourning. No one's happy. Everyone has to go out and create their own happiness. They can't just naturally be happy. You 
The only ones that are truly happy are the prophets of the Lord because they have the we have a true sense of happiness. We have the correct doctrine of Yahweh Bashem Yahusha. All right, back to that uh, that struck to the Nate. And because of all of that, the kingdom is what translated from one people to another. And it's written in the Book of Daniel that the saints are going to take the kingdom, man. The kingdom is translated to one people and to another. All right, let me go get a scripture real quick and get another scripture. Uh, it's the book of Amos. Nine and eight. Amos nine and eight. Behold. The eyes of the Lord God are upon the sinful kingdom and will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, save the Lord. All right. What is that talking about, man? The sinful kingdom is uh, this, this, this life is rulership, man. The people that's ruling right now is a sinful kingdom, man. Who says what? Who calls good evil and evil good, man? Who tries to, uh, what's, what's one factor? That they that they do that call good evil. All right, it's righteous with the sight. It's righteous in the sight of the Lord to let the a man rule over the woman. All right, but Esau turns that around and says a woman can rule over her man. All right, that's unwest that's righteousness. But Esau says that it's good. All right, and, and two thirds of our people believe the believe Esau. That's why it said I will. It says saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord. All right. Thou uh, says, for lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations, like corn is sifted in a sieve. Yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth, because the Lord is going to destroy. He shall make the earth rock. He's not going to destroy the earth. He's going to destroy parts of the face of the earth, all right, the surface. Because of why? That's why I said, I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. Because why? He said, the Lord said, I will make the earth rock to and fro. All right, like a drunkard, you know. It says, verse 10, All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. You know, all the sinners of the Lord's people are going to die. All right, the ones that says, oh, uh, the evil makes me feel good. Uh, I love smoking cigarettes. Oh, I love smoking. I love going against the Lord, you know. When the, when the woman rules over the man, that's wicked, man. The man is meant to rule over a woman, all right? That's just, a, that's just one factor of the many, you know? And the Lord is going to displease this devil, you know, with, with the people of this uh, this kingdom, this society. He's going to he's gonna put them out, man. He's going to put them out horribly, all right? When you go back to that, uh, when you go back to this Ecclesiastes, it talks about why earth and ash is proud. Because Esau is a proud person who claims to be God, man. He claims to be God, man. He puts himself on the same pedestal as the one that created the universes. You know? It says uh, Ecclesiastes 10 and 9. Why is earth and ashes proud? If the Lord created man from the, from the dust of the earth, you know, why are you proud? You're the same dust that you walk upon, man, you know? Why is earth and ashes proud? There is not there is not a more wicked thing than a covetous man. For such as and one sitteth his own soul to sell, because while he liveth, he casteth away his own bowels. Alright, well, a covetous man, man. What is it, uh what is that? Malachi two or is it Micah? That's Micah two and one. Woe unto them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. It is in the power of their hand. All right. So they have they have the power to do this, e this evil, but they have the power also to do good. But they choose to do the evil. That's why I said because of unrighteous dealings, injuries and riches gotten by deceit. All right. The power of good is in their hand to do so. But they, they choose to do evil.
Woe unto them that devise evil and work. It's like they devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it. All right? Spring chemtrails, man. All right? Filling the atmosphere with aluminum particles to, to, to weaken your immune system. All right? Now, that's, that's wicked, and that's evil and, and uh, that's evil and iniquity that they practice upon their beds, man. They go to sleep thinking, or they dwell on, they meditate upon evil, more evil that they can do, all right, to weaken the people. All right, verse 2, it says that, it says, and they that covet fields and take them by violence in houses and take them away. Who does that sound like, man? That sounds like, who's the only nation of people that, or that, that has, embassies and military bases all across the all across the um, the world man and er in every other nations and every people's nations uh, in the ancient world man israel let the other nations rule how they wanted to rule you know israel didn't go up and set up military hierarchs in their in their land we didn't go to edom and moab all right and set up military bases in their in their in their land you know but america does they covet fields, man, and take them by violence, and houses, and take them away. So they oppress a man in his house, even a man in his heritage. You know, and it's not just us, man. He oppressed them Ishmaelites over there that has their false heritage and their gods. They pray to Allah, all right? He oppressed them, all right, in their house and in their heritage. You know, so he oppressed all men in their houses and their heritage, man. All right, but the Lord is going to, uh, he's going to go into it. It says, therefore, thus saith the Lord. So the Lord is saying is, this is, behold, against this family, I do devise an evil. So the Lord has a plan for the people that's doing this. From which ye shall not remove your necks. So that you're not going to get out of this plan that the Lord got for you. And, and it's crazy because you can't do anything against the plan that the Lord has for you. I'm talking to Esau Edo. I'm talking to you, Esau. You know, America is going to be destroyed. And because I use those words in that last phrase, I just said, America is going to be destroyed. I'm going to, uh, this video is going to pop up on the uh, NSA radar. All right. And they're going to monitor this video. All right. And I want them to hear this. No matter what you do to me. All right. You can do whatever you want to me. What more can you do to me that the Lord has not done already? I'm under curses. All right. And the Lord used your hand to do it. All right. And the Lord is also going to use my hand to destroy you. Lord willing that I'm one of those men, all right? Baba Kusha, you know, with all hope, with all diligence. Hopefully I'm one of those men, you know? Hopefully the Lord uses my hand to destroy you, Edom, you so-called white devils. All right, verse 3. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, behold, against this family I do devise the evil, from which ye shall not remove your necks, neither shall ye go haughty. All right, because Esau is a very haughty, proud devil, man. It says, for this time, it's evil. All right, um, and how's the, what's the, what's the, what's the, what's the devising plan that the Lord has for these, uh, damn devils, man? It says, uh, Daniel's 7 and 18. The book of Daniel, chapter 7, verse 18. It says, but the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever and ever and ever. All right. Just like it, it says, the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. All right. And how are we going to take that kingdom? Through the Lord, man. Uh, in the book of uh, Isaiah, the 14th chapter speaks vividly about, about how Esau is going to be put out. You know, this is the book of Isaiah fourteen and two. The point is at four, but I'm gonna start from two. It says, "And the people shall take them." And I'm gonna start at one. Isaiah fourteen and one for the Lord. Will have mercy on Jacob and yet choose Israel and set them in their own land, and the strangers shall be joined unto them, and they shall cleave unto the house of Jacob. And the people shall take them and bring them to their places, 
in the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord with his servants and hand for for servants and handmaids. Those are slaves. So I just read to you on Daniel, the saints of the Most High is going to take the kingdom and possess it forever, even forever and ever. All right. That's what's going to happen to you, Esau Edom. It says, uh, handmaids and servants, slaves, and they shall take them captives whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. And it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow, from thine fear, from the hard bondage wherein thou was made to serve. Thou shalt pick up this proverb against the kingdom of Babylon, saying, How hath the oppressor ceased and the golden city ceased? And America is known as Babylon because this place is utter confusion. And the word Babylon means confusion. Babel, to Babel, all right? The word Babylon means confusion, and America is spiritually Babylon because it's, it's, it's a very perverse and confusing nation. It says, and how have, it says, and say, how have the oppressor ceased and the golden city ceased? This is the point, verse 5. The Lord hath broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers. All right, and the, and the uh, scepter is a, is a rod that the king carries to display his power. All right? And that's, that's what's going to happen to the, the, the rulers of this kingdom, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, all right, the DuPonts, the Bilderbergs, all right? That's what's going to happen to these Oppenheimers. That's what's going to happen to these elite banking families, man. That's what's going to happen to these people, you know? Verse 6, who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke that ruled the nations in anger, and is persecuted and none hindereth. The whole earth is at rest and is quiet and they break forth into singing. All right. So every once this devil gets put out of power, everything is going to be better. It was just read to you in the book of uh, Proverbs. It says, um, Proverbs 29 and 2. It said, when the king, when the, when the, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. When the wicked bears rule, the people mourn. All right, so after the wicked, it's going to stop being ruled because what he does is he smokes the people with a continual stroke. All right, he ruled the nations in wrath. All right, and he persecutes in anger. And he acts like he's the problem. He's, he's the solution to the problem that he created. He's, he's, a, he's a perverse and confusing man. All right, it says, verse, verse 8, Yeah, the fir trees rejoice and they, and at, the fir trees rejoice at thee. And the cedars of Lebanon, saying, Since thou art laid down, no no filler is come up against us. All right? So the Lord, even the trees are going to rejoice. Because I just said in the beginning of the video that the, uh, the Esau cut down the trees to, to build his uh, slaughterhouses. All right? Millions and millions of trees through the years. He, he, the trees are going to rejoice when he's put out of power. All right? And that's 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 the whole point, man. The Lord is gonna put this devil out of power, you know. So be be rejoicing and be fully glad, man. No matter no matter how much hell you have to take, man, just be of good cheer because our kingdom is up next. And when I say our, I mean the elect, the election. All right. And then too, that was the message. That's the message, man. That's the, that's the that's the edification of this video. Our kingdom is next. All right, until next time, I'll say Shalom.